So, uh, we're back in Wales this week, uh, and I've done something I'm not particularly happy with, but in the name of science and all that, I've put a rail on the SLR. So I thought, seeing as I'm out here in the, uh, the outback to Wales again this week, I could uh, bring on a couple of my guns and uh, set the sights and set the hop in properly. And then that got me thinking, well, uh, what BB weights I should use. So I brought along everything from two fives up to uh, three sixes. So I've got two fives, two eights, three twos and three sixes. Now, apart from these two, I've got open bottles here. So I know this isn't the most scientific test. Um, it's what I had to hand, but we could go through it uh, and can see what, what's the most effective weight for, uh, for both uh, my kind of standard FPS uh, rifle here um, and also my uh, DMR rifle here. So uh, what I'll do is for each weight, I'll chrono it. Oh no, I'll set the hop so it's giving me the uh, best trajectory, then I'll chrono it. And then we'll see what kind of range differences the different weights give us uh, and also kind of accuracy that the different weights give us. So let's crack on. Right, so I've got a bit of a range set up here. It's not the most accurate, but it's fairly decent. So uh, let's just go through it quickly. From where we are now to that tree is about 20 meters. From us to that post in the field there, that's about 40 meters. And then I'll just zoom in on it. You can see that down there, that box. That box way down there is about 60 meters away. And just to prove it, I'm gonna repace back down there to use this as a weight to hold it up and set up a GoPro. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. So yeah, 60 meters. Okay, so 10, 10 rounds onto the 60 meter with 0.25s in the DMR. So 10 rounds at 60 meters, none hit. They all kind of spread out a bit, went everywhere. So I'm going to try and hit 10 onto the 40 meter target instead. Okay, so when I actually counted 10, nine of them hit, with two hitting the wooden post either side and one going through the gap in the middle. So a bit of a spread, and that post is a bit wider than a single person, but it was about 80% hits properly. It's not too bad at 40 meters, two fives as well. Okay, so fair warning, I shot the 0.25s through the LSW at the end of the day. They'd been out in the sun for a number of hours, and I think I got a bit of heat strokey, and my camera battery died on my scope cam, and it got really windy. But you are gonna see 10 rounds, shot through the RSW and 0.25s next uh, and I'm going to try and make sure I get the right titles in but I think it was seven hits three misses with the last three being all misses so watch the clip but I apologize it's pretty hard to understand what's going on anyway back to Wales well right, let's do a 10 round group on the uh, 40 meter and see what happens So I think that was seven hits, three misses. Um, not too bad, but two fives kind of fly a bit all over the place, really. So, hop set, chronoed with uh, 0.28s now in the uh, LSW. Let's try it out 14 and go up to 60 again.
pretty good at 40, let's go out to 60. Yeah, dropping short at 60 with these. Um, I'll try aiming up again, see if that helps. Okay, so intermittent hits with the uh, kind of like 750 meter mark. Let's let's try 10, see if we can count how many hit. No, they're just good spreading out when they get down there, either not reaching it or just going to the left or just going to the right. But still, with two eights and a sub one jaw gun, that's still pretty decent. Right, okay, so two eights in this, set the hop and throw node it. Uh, again, uh, just so we can have a look at the FPS on that. What I'll do this time is fire a couple of shots at the, uh, the, the black post, see if I can hit that. If I can hit that consistently, I'll move out and try and hit the uh, target way down at 60-ish meters. Those are all good, let's try out to the 60 meters. Okay, so 60 meters is a bit harder to hit, but let's give it 10 shots and see how many of those I hit. So two eights were spreading out quite a bit there, so uh, not the best of the DMR. Okay, so I've got three twos loaded up in this, uh, set the hop, set the scope. So again, I'll take a couple of shots at the 40 meter mark and then try the 60 and see how we do. Okay, let's go out to the 60. Okay, so still not 100% hit rate, but that's much better than the two fives and the two eights. So, 0.32s this time in this gun. Uh, expecting better results than with, uh, with the other weights, so let's, let's have a look and see. Again, I'll go 40 meters, then try the 60. Okay, so hitting the 40 meters is absolutely fine. Let's try hitting the 60. Okay, with the reticle on it, they're dropping short. So I'm gonna try and aim up, try and put it at one. This is the 1,000 meter mark for a real rifle. Okay, so three twos are definitely, definitely pretty good at this for medium to slightly longer range engagements. But then again, this is quite low FPS, so I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Right, I'm not expecting much from it, but I've put three sixes in this. Turn the hop all the way up, because uh, that's all you need. Let's just see what kind of range it gets. happy at 40 but I doubt it's going to get to 60. Now nah, even weight aiming way above it it's still going to get to the 60 mark. So uh, three sixes at present with uh, the hop I've got in here. Now nah, they're going to work. Alright so now I've got three sixes in here I've set the hop chronoed it um, and again We'll test at the 40 meter and then I think it should be fine. We'll go out to the 60 meter. Let's crack on. Okay, 
Yep, 40 metres, fine, let's go out to 60. Three sixes work lovely in this rifle. Okay, so uh, future me, if you're listening, you need to tabulate all these results and, uh, you know. Yeah, I suppose I should do that. I'll just wait for future me to do that. All right, yeah, no, come on. If it was that easy, you'd have done it. Honestly, past selves. So I think the first conclusion we can make is that was not a scientific test by any means. Uh, one, I didn't count the right number of shots most of the time because I'm an idiot. Uh, two, it was really, really windy that day. Uh, well, it kept varying amounts of wind, so uh, that obviously played an effect on it. And three, I was shooting standing up with no support, so my shots were all over the place. And four, I'm a bad shot anyway, so that kind of doesn't help the matter. What I've got here is a clip comparing both, uh, comparing the two fives up to the three sixes side by side for one shot. And as you can see, as you go up the weights, the hop becomes much flatter and also you'll notice I've put um, I put uh, hit marks at the top saying uh, which BB hit first from the same firing time. <laughs> you'll see that the 3.6 actually hits first because it maintains its energy uh, so after it leaves the barrel it may leave slower but it will lose speed um, at a slower rate than uh, lighter BBs. Um, also less affected by wind Still affected slightly, but it managed to fly straighter more often than the other BBs. So my big conclusion to take away from this is uh, use the heaviest weight your gun is able to lift well. Uh, as as uh, I've seen, as you go up the weights, you, you increase your chance of the BB going where you are aiming it to go. Um, you don't necessarily get increased range, but you do you see a slight increase in um, what effective range, so uh, uh, the point at which your BB will travel before veering off course, um, which really is what you want. And I mean, I'd say most, most airsoft games, unless you're playing a big open field, your engagement ranges are going to be less than 60 metres. Um, and as you can see, even with the LSW, which was doing under one jewel pretty much all the time, that could reach out to 60 iffy-ish, so 50 metres is probably going to be its best effective range, and that's good enough for most airsoft games. Alright, okay, well, I hope those results seemed reasonable, and I hope you guys uh, can learn a bit from this and figure out what the best weight for you is. Obviously, don't take my word as law. Uh, do a similar test to me. Grab a load of different weights, try them out, you're going to see which one performs best. Uh, but I think, from my point of view, I'm going to try and use three sixes in the SLR, see if that helps with uh, you know my inability to do gameplay um, and uh, I'll probably either stick with the 2.8 or maybe even just try a game or two with the 3.2s and the, um, the LSW maybe up the FPS in it slightly and see if that gives better results but anyway I hope you've enjoyed uh, this I hope you've learned something from it um, and uh, if you like what, what you see hit the subscribe button drop a comment down below uh, and stick around uh, to see more of me, you know, either sucking at gameplay, uh, trying to do reviews and stuff, doing tests and experiments, or even breaking stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Adios.